of Survival Week around here, and this morning we're learning about more life-saving techniques everyone should know about. Back to show us how to perform the Heimlich maneuver and when to use an EpiPen is emergency at, at, in emergency situations is the one and only emergency medical physician, Dr. Samson Davis. Hey, hello, hello. Hi. Oh my God. Okay. Hi. Heimlich maneuver. Yes. Let's get into it. Yes. When, how, why? Yes. Okay. It works. It, it works. works. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you look for someone choking. Obviously, the universal choking sign exactly is this. Is yes. this. If they're not doing that, they may use one hand. They, they may be like... Right. right. Can't speak, mm -hmm. can't cough. You, they're looking distressed, get yeah. us, uh, mm -hmm. a feeling of panic mm -hmm. and, and nervousness. So you want to sort of jump right into action. And it's usually at a restaurant or a food gathering yes. that this yeah. occurs. So yes. That's so the, the main thing to start with the Heimlich is we're going to do that now. Okay. We're going to take a fist, yep. fist. just close, and you're going to put it right below your rib cage and right above your belly button. So okay. this is the self Heimlich maneuver. So no, we're going to well, oh. you two are going to do it. There we go. Okay. Let me try so this. Martin's going to come around you there, okay. and he's going to take. Don't make me throw up. I won't. <laughs> and you're going to take your other hand, and the goal is to push in and up. Okay. So you, okay. I feel like he's too high already. Yeah. How's that? Okay. Right, right, right above the belly button. Right got it. Okay, got it. And okay. then, and that's down here. And so you push. <laughs> <laughs> so you push. You push in, in and, and up. up, and that positive pressure caused the okay. food particle bolus to sort of come out. And, and a lot that's of other stuff probably at the same and, time. And well, yeah, yeah. you might get some more presence. So yeah. and second base. <laughs> okay. Keep that in mind. All right. So, so that's when you have you can do that to somebody, and it's. I mean, I you hear stories all the time. It works. Yeah. It works wonderfully. Yes. What if you're by yourself? At so, home, or you, you, people aren't. You, yeah, a lot yeah, of people are eating eat at home alone. And right. Yeah. What happens? What then? happens? Then? Right. Because a lot of us are alone. So what you do there? You come here to your chair. Okay. Most often you're sitting, or you have a chair. Oh. You may have a countertop. Right. But what you want to do is create that same pressure. So you want to sort of straddle the chair, get to the place where you're kind of level to the chair, and okay. you want to do the same sort of push in and up. Yeah, I so, feel like. I could be sick just doing it. Right. Yeah, it de definitely. Yeah. It's not it, a comfortable feeling. Yeah, no, it's feeling. not. Oh, that's yeah. not right. Yeah, but yeah. it. Mm -hmm. But it works. But the, the main goal is make sure you're not bending over because you're creating wrong pressure. You right. want to make you sure. You want to come from like that, the solar plexus area. And push and it on up. the way up. And don't exactly. be shy, right? And don't be shy. Right. And you can also uh, use. You could do it yourself. That sort of self heimic maneuver where you push in and out as well if the right. chair or the, or the object doesn't work as well. Okay. But to keep calm, right? Don't panic. Keep if you, calm. I think I, I've I've never choked, but I've almost choked. And like we've been eating yeah. and laughing, yeah. and then you like inhale. Yeah, it's scary. And it it's, is a scary, scary feeling. And you can also, you know, what we talked about earlier, is sort of doing it on each other. But if that doesn't work, you can always do the back thrust as well. Okay. So you can, you know, Mark, you could demonstrate. You could um, hit Kelly here. You could pound here in the back <laughs> five yeah, times five there times. between the shoulder between blades. The sh okay. And you can sort of alternate if one doesn't work. The two of them Got together it. obviously dislodge should it. dislodge the. Okay. What about uh, food babies? Particles. Yes. So babies are different here. So these are our oversized babies, but okay. these are babies nonetheless. So we're going to kneel down. And you notice with a baby, they're not crying. They may be motionless. Right. Their oxygen supply dissipates very fast, so they could turn blue very quick. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what you don't want to do with a baby, you want to grab them like so mm -hmm. and flip them over. Okay. Right? right. And you want to support their neck and their face. Mm -hmm. And you want to bend their head down so their chest or their torso is resting on your knee. And you're doing back thrusts right between the shoulder blades. Right. So you can do five of those. You can flip the baby back over. And if the baby hasn't expelled the full bolus yet, you could take your, uh, your pointer finger mm -hmm. and your middle finger and put oh. right below, uh, right on the rib cage and push up and in. Up and as in. Well. Okay. And so now you look Same at... Same like solar plexus area. Right, right, mm -hmm. right above the sort of, uh, the mm -hmm. kind of that bread box mm -hmm. there, like on the rib cage. Got it. But you want to go below the, uh, the nipple line and push in and up. Now, you look inside the mouth. If you do see uh, some food particles, you want to sort of take it out. Mm -hmm. Okay. And make sure whatever you do, you just don't blind sweep. All right, let's get to so, the EpiPen. Yes, for sure. Let's do that. Oh, boy. Yeah, when, <laughs> what is it and who exactly needs it? So epinephrine is adrenaline. Adrenaline. Okay. So what it does, it uh, dilates the blood vessels and open up the airways. So you see people with peanut allergies. Yeah, mm -hmm. their, airways, their airways close. Their yeah. airways close, uh, seafood allergies. So what you want to do is make sure you have one of these at home mm -hmm. and in school or at camp. Mm -hmm. And it's very simple to use. You sort of take the EpiPen here, right? Okay. And what you're going to do is just peel off the blue top there. Okay. Got it. And you want to put this in the more muscular part of your body, which is your thighs or your bottom, oh, okay. right? 
And so you take this, you just push it, you're gonna hear a click as right, you're pushing in. This is not a real one, right? No. <laughs> okay. Real safe. <laughs> you hear that click? Yeah. I'm so afraid to do this. Are you promise me yeah. there's yeah, no I'm, needle that's gonna <laughs> come out? Because our show is very fun. We play fun <laughs> tricks. Okay. Yeah. And then you let go. And then I'm safe. And you let go, yep. And you see, and so this simulates what the EpiPen does. Very easy, very simple to use, not complicated at all, and it saves lives. And That's you can use it on other people. And you can use it, one yeah. is an auto injector, one use only, but if your child has or you have a severe allergy, you wanna make sure you keep one in every place where you sort of frequent off. Okay. Is there a best place to store it? Uh, you wanna store it in a dark and a cool area, not refrigerated and not in extreme heat. Got it. Got it, okay. Uh, thank you for these tips, and for more, head to our website. We'll be right back. Thank <laughs> you.